In this video, we will introduce the idea of a vector. Vectors can be understood both from an algebraic point of view and a geometric point of view. We will discuss both. Algebraically, a vector can be thought of as a special case of a matrix when its dimensions is either 1 by n or n by 1. If the number of rows is equal to 1, then the matrix becomes a row vector. When the number of columns is equal to 1, then the matrix becomes a column vector. It is obvious that each row of a matrix forms a row vector by itself. For example, the second row of this matrix is the row vector 2, negative 1, negative 1, 1. And each column of a matrix forms a column vector. For example, the third column of this matrix is the vector 1, negative 1, 3. You might also have learned in physics classes that a vector is a quantity that has to be described by not only a magnitude, but also a direction. For example, the speed of wind, the acceleration of a rocket, and the force applied on an object are all vectors because both their magnitude and direction matter. This is connected with the geometric point of view for vectors. Geometrically, we can represent a vector by a directed line segment. For example, we can draw a Cartesian coordinate system and pick two points with coordinates a sub 1, a sub 2, for point A, and B sub 1, E sub 2, for point B. The directed segment that points from A to B is a vector. We can give it an intuitive notation, vector AB, with an arrow pointing from letter A to letter B. And here's where it connects back to the algebraic representation of a vector. Vector AB is equal to B sub 1 minus A sub 1, B sub 2 minus A sub 2. If point A is located at the origin, then this vector becomes B sub 1, B sub 2, which looks just like the coordinates, except the parentheses are replaced with square brackets. So just like any two tuple, x sub 1, x sub 2, represents a point in the two-dimensional plane, any vector, x sub 1, x sub 2, represents a vector in the two-dimensional plane. This plane is often, often referred to as the Euclidean space R2, where R stands for the one-dimensional real line, and 2 stands for the dimension 2. Similarly, the Euclidean space R3 is the three-dimensional space that we physically live in. Each vector x in R3 requires three entries, x sub 1, x sub 2, x sub 3. We can generalize the idea to n dimensions so that Rn is the space hosting all the vectors with n entries, x sub 1, x sub 2, etc., x sub n. 